Tonight, we are learning new information about the girl who investigators suspect placed a dead baby in the trunk of a car. That baby's remains were found at an auto body shop in the community of Shelby. 10 TV's Danielle Elias spoke with the man who found the body and is live in our studio with new information. Danielle. Kristen, police say the teen took the car in for some routine repairs. The mechanic and owner of the shop tells me, as always, he went to work on the car. And although he finished the job, that car is now considered evidence and won't be on the roads anytime soon. And that's where I pulled the tire off and uh, Pop the trunk. What came next for mechanic Ron Hamilton? So I kicked the box over here by the weeds. Was so surreal, he says it seemed like it was straight out of the movies. And uh, it was pretty heavy. And when I started messing with the towel, I realized when I opened it that there was a, a dead baby inside the towel. A dead baby, so badly decomposed. It was right there by that stick. He says he couldn't tell whether it was a boy or a girl. I was kind of scared to check it out, but, you know, it came here for a reason, and I think that's what it was. The child can be put at rest. Shelby police say a 17-year-old admitted to having the child. She put the baby in the box. But they still don't know how long the baby was in the box or the car. We haven't made a determination at this point in time whether the baby was stillborn, a miscarriage, or if the baby was born viable and alive. Even more strange, Captain Lance Combs says, is that the girl's parents never knew she was pregnant. They say the child was born at the beginning of the year in the girl's home. Only now, from such strong smells, are people finding out about the child's death. I hope, pray to God, I never see a car like that again, and find anything like that again. And this is devastating. And clearly an emotional day for the mechanic who himself is a father of five and for that girl who police described as hysterical. Now it's up to the autopsy results to see who, if anyone, will be charged. Reporting live, Danielle Elias, 10TV News.